All right, what's good with it, whores? This is your boy Jagannoff, and I am back to give my schedule prediction video. I've been talking about this for a minute, and um, like I said in the last video with my work schedule and getting wisdom teeth distracted, I've been fucking busy as shit, but had too much downtime. But um, finally, I'm now going to really start getting back to doing what I love, and that is making videos doing this for you guys but anyway um so let's get so let's get let's get into it this is, and i don't know the rec the record offhand because i'm basically doing this doing this at spur of the moment so um we're gonna see what we do we're gonna see what we do here all right first up week one we got texans Since it's in Houston, I gotta I gotta say this is gonna be a loss. Even though it wouldn't surprise me at all to win this game, because it's Deshaun Watson's debut, and I think Yannick and company are gonna uh, figure out a way to make this guy's life a living hell. But um, I'd say probably split with the te Texans this year, and um, so I think we so I think this game's a loss. Our home opener next week against the Tennessee Titans. I got us winning this game. After what we did to the to the Titans last year, and the fact that we got and the fact that we got so much better, I think. Um, and the Titans, even though they had a good draft, like I don't think I don't think talent wise they got all that much better. But I still I still think they're a good I still think they're a good team. I'm probably gonna end up saying we split with them, but um, I think our home debut we beat we beat the Texans. Week three, we got the Baltimore Ravens in London. Yeah, fuck the Baltimore Ra Ravens. Although, shout out to the shout out to this dude, the Beltway, who's a uh, Ravens fan from uh, from uh, Canada, and uh, and also I fuck with him because you know he's an Orioles fan too, and I fuck with I fuck with the Orioles. That's my baseball team, other than the Cubs. So, uh, but you know, fuck your team. But yeah, shout out to shout out to the Beltway. Um, yeah, man, we. Eat. Ravens talk, Ravens fans talk all this talk all this shit and they barely got by us last year and shouldn't have got by us last year off of the stupid ass blocked field goal and shit but um yeah man they're not they're not doing it to us twice in a row so across the pond I'm so pissed this game at it ever ain't at Everbank Field because I would have been at this game so um we get to win so we get to win then. we go to New York to play the Jets next. The Jets have the worst roster in the NFL right now, in my opinion. So that's another. So I think that's another win. Um, week five against the Steelers. Unfortunately, since this is in Pittsburgh, and I actually might go to this game, but um, I gotta say, I gotta say, this is gonna be a loss. So we're three and two at this point. The L.A. Rams come to t come to town. This could go either way. I wouldn't be surprised if we fucked this game up somehow, but um, just because I think we got overall better talent than the, than the Rams, and I'm not impressed at all with Jared Goff, so I think this is a win. At the Col at the Colts, I'd say this. I'd say this is a win too. The Colts, the Colts to me just ain't shit, other than the Andrew Luck. So. They shouldn't have beat us in that game in the ending game last year. I'm, that coll that collapse at the end was one of the worst moments our defense had this year. We had that fucking game one, and then we just fucking collapsed. So that get so we should beat them. So yeah, man, we should beat the fucking Colts. We gates our bye week, and then we come off of it to play the Cincinnati Bengals at home. Um. I hate to say, I hate to say this one, but um, I think this is I think this is a loss, cause um, I mean they're the Bengals have a lot of talent on offense and um, defense defense are a really good team too and like usually how it works with the Bengals they have an up year and a down year and uh, last year they had a down year so I think the Bengals are probably gonna surprise some people this year so I think we so I think we dropped that game. Remember, ten, week ten against the L.A. Chargers, loss. Because even though I think, even though I think this team is nowhere near the talent that we have, but ever since Philip Rivers has been the quarterback of the San Diego now L.A. Chargers, we can never beat this fucking team. Like last week, week two, we got 
ass raped by them. So um, hopefully I'm hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully the LA move broke breaks that curse. But um, unfortunately, I think we're losing this game. Um, next we go to Cleveland to play the Cleveland Browns. Oh my God! And I gotta talk about I gotta talk about this shit real quick. So um. I'm so happy I got an Attack in My World hangout last last night to come at to come at this dude. But um, and yes, I went was in Attack in My World hangout. Or even though like I don't really recognize him that much as a true Jags fan, and some of the shit he says is just outright retarded. I still don't hate the guy, and the, I'm done beefing with him. I'll just it is what it, it is what it is at this point. But anyway, this motherfucker, <laughs> crazy dog. My man, Crazy Dog, the one Browns fan who I know on YouTube, and like, really, I'm one of the people that like I don't I try not to talk too much shit about the Browns because I feel bad for that for them. They have very passionate fans, and their football team just sucks so much fucking dick. But in his schedule prediction video, for some re for some reason, he decided to talk so much shit about the Jaguars, saying that. He was gonna that this team is going to beat our ass, and the only bright spot on our team is Leonard Fournette. Bruh, have you forgotten about Allen Robinson, Allen Hearns, Marquise Lee, um, Yannick Ngakwe, Malik Jackson, Calais Campbell, uh, Tobin Smith? Jalen Ramsey, AJ Boye, yeah, I think we got a little bit more than fucking Leonard Fournette. And yo, you really think you're gonna beat us? Which, like, even though I say that the Browns did have a pretty good draft, like I think they, I think they're improving. I don't think they're gonna be as shitty as they were last year. But bro, let's not forget. Let's not forget. Cock Assweiler is your quarterback. Yes, the same Cock Assweiler who played for the Houston Texans. And went back in a stretch where the Jaguars couldn't get a fucking interception to save our lives. We managed to pick this bitch off twice in the second, in the first half. That is your quarterback, and he's throwing to Corey Coleman, who's pretty much unproven, and Kenny Britt, who to me really ain't shit. And you really think you really think he's gonna put up numbers on Boye and Ramsey? Like, are you for real? And Leonard Fournette is gonna run all over your fucking defense. And Blake Bortles will probably have one of his best games of the year. Y'all basically have y'all. You want to talk about what we have? Y'all basically have Miles Garrett, Joe Th Joe Thomas, and Joe Hayden. That's it, bro. So, <laughs> and let and let me and let me be real. Like I know you said that because because Rando Warrior X kept calling them the Cleveland Clowns, and but. Dude, if you like trash talk is trash talk is cool, but don't say but dude don't say anything that's gonna make you sound like a fucking retard, especially when you talk about my team. Cause like I did last night, I will embarrass you. So that being that being said, that shit you talking about, you, uh, you blowing us out, it's not ha it's not happening. Your team's getting your ass their asses kicked. That's a win. So um, and. I'll do any bet you want, and dude, for real, if you want to make a video response to this, I'll do any fucking bet you want to do on that game. Trust and believe. Okay, moving, okay, moving on. We got the Arizona, we got the, uh, Arizona Cardinals on, uh, week 12, on week 12. Um, hmm. That's a tough one. I guess since it's at Arizona, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say this is a loss. So we are six and five at this point. Um, set the next game. We got the Colts again, and I say, and I say we win this game. We're finally gonna sweep them bitches. And then after that, we got the um, Seattle Seahawks. Like even though this is at home, I mean, even if all goes right, I think I don't think we're really ready for the Seahawks. So unfortunately. That is a loss. Um, play the we play the Texans next, and um, this is where we beat the Texans at home. Yep. So we are we got eight and uh, six at the, yeah eight and six at this point. 
Um, next we got the forty nine. We got the forty niners, and I will say this is. I will say this is a win, because even though they pretty much, even though they pretty much robbed the bit, robbed the Bears of their whole entire draft with that stupid ass trade. I still don't. I still think they got a lot of holes to fill and um, a lot of question at quarterback. So I think that. So I think we. Get, go in there, and even though this is on the West Coast, I think we beat the 49ers. And finally, the Tennessee Titans, I think we split with them, so this one, since it's in Tennessee, I think this is a loss. So, I have our final record at 9-7. Uh, and seven. Will we make Will we make the playoffs? God only, kn God only knows. I don't, kn I don't know how much better the uh, rest of the AFC South is going to be, but I mean, we got the potential to, to win this division, but um, it is what it, but you know, we'll see. We'll see, man. Like, I'm not gonna put too much faith on it because it's the fucking Jaguars. We always fought, like, even even last year when we got hyped hyped up so much and we thought there was no way we could fuck this up. We managed to fucking go three and thirteen, but now we got better. Now we got better coaching. We hopefully Blake Bortles can pull his head out of his ass, and we have three dominant ass rookies from last year who are going into their second year and they're only going to get better and now we and now we should ha we have an improved offensive line and we should have a better fucking run game so um I don't know man we'll we'll see I'm I'd say we are about 9 and set 9 and 7 8 and 8 it could it could go either way so uh we'll see and also stay tuned man I got a lot of more a lot more videos co coming I want to start doing shit more consistently cuz I got a, a couple things now that I do want to that I do want to address so um, be on the look, be on the lookout, man. I mean, it's really the return of the, it's really my return to coming out party because I know you two is missing. So don't worry, I'm gonna give you what you need. I'm gonna give you what you crave. You've been wanting it, you've been needing. It, so now I'm gonna give you the gift of jagging off. Drink it in, man. All right, that's it. That about does it. Let me know what you think in the comment section about my schedule prediction video. Anything you anything y'all want me to address that pertain to the Jaguars, I will. So um until next time, this is your boy Jack this is your boy jagging off. And I'm out this bitch and go fucking Jags.